Okay, so the thing is, when you get out of the habit of filming, it is so hard to jump back in. But here I am jumping back in. And guess what, you guys? Happy New Year! It is 2017, and it is a new year, you guys. Like, a fresh start, a new year, it's that serious for me. I even took my Christmas tree down and put up a New Year's tree. <laughs> to celebrate it's that real okay anyway um welcome back to my channel i took the first week of january off because i needed it you guys know that i attempted to do vlogmas in december and that's where you just post a video every day for the month of december and my goal was a bit too aggressive because i actually made a goal to post a video on both my vlogging channel which is from serena with love i do have a family vlog just in case you guys didn't know that um so I made a goal to post both on my vlogging channel and on my homeschool channel once a day every day in December so that's two videos not just one so I kind of sort of met my goal because I did in fact post a video every day on a channel okay it just wasn't on both channels and mostly it was on my vlogging channel and not on here as much because I got sick and had a hard time recovering I lost my voice and it was just then that just kind of trickled down into um, the holidays and I just needed a moment to recover and figure out what I wanted to do with my life yada 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 so anyway I'm back now I took the first week of January off so that I could kind of just get my thoughts together, get my planner all situated for homeschool, get my goals all solidified, kind of, sort of solidified. But anyway, I'm here now. I thought I would start this year off by doing a video on the changes that I am implementing in 2017 for homeschool and some of our goals. Um, the biggest change that we are making in 2017 is that we are going to try year-round homeschooling this time around. So we are going to be starting in January, of course, and the end of our year is going to be the beginning of the holidays in December. So I decided to do this because I just, I felt like the the space that we were given like in summer break and holiday breaks it was just too long I feel like they're learning all the time and they're just sitting waiting for me to prepare something for them or get them going I just felt like that big big break was just unnecessary and I feel like for us and for me in particular as their homeschool teacher it might be a better idea to just have shorter more frequent breaks and so I am going to try that out this year the first three weeks of the month we will do school and then the last week of the month we will be off and I feel like this will give me some time to prepare it'll give us some time to do our events do any field trips um, I'm hoping that it'll work out well but if it doesn't work out well we'll go back to what we were doing before or we'll try something new I feel like homeschool for us is all about making changes and adjusting things to fit us best for the time period or the season that we're in so um, we're gonna give that a try this year and see how it goes three weeks on one week off now for January I'm a little flip-flop because I decided to take my one week off at the beginning of the month so I could get myself together so I've already taken our week for this month and now the last three weeks of this month are going to be you know right into school again um yeah so that's the biggest change is that we're going to year-round homeschooling and we're going to give that a try the next change that I'm making is that I want to do more weekly prep and I prepare for homeschool but a lot of the things we do just kind of like The next goal slash change that we're making in 2017 is I want to implement more dependent work. Let me explain. <laughs> My kids are very independent in their work. Um, we have a schedule or a routine that they uh, stick to. Well, 
I don't want to say stick to because it's not really rigid. It's just that we have certain things that we need to accomplish and they make sure that they get them done for the most part. They do need a little bit of pushing from time to time, but most of their work they do um, independently. And how I want to change that this time around is it's really important to me that I create, that I help them to create a strong sibling relationship. And that is even in learning. For us, I feel like that would just be really helpful in letting them know how important they are to one another. Um, so I guess I will kind of try to explain more of how I am attempting to implement that in further vlogs and videos and such and I don't know if this is going to make too much sense to you guys but I just want them to learn to work together more as a team so I want to give them work that um that they need one another for to complete I I just want them to know that that relationships are important and their siblings are important and that it is such a special thing to be able to lend your gift to another and how important that is in life. I don't know. Sometimes the things that you have in your heart don't really come out very well. Well, for me, they don't come out very well. But anyway, I just want them to have more dependent work where they need one another in order to complete their projects. Yeah, so I'm also doing a video on the goals I have the per personal goals, our family goals, and our business goals, and that is going to be on my From Serena With Love vlog channel. Those are the three main things that we are going to be doing for the year. Uh, other than that, I just really want to focus on a balance. I want to incorporate more art, I want to incorporate more music, and I want to incorporate for sure more field trips and more travel. I said in an older vlog that it was important for me to plan out our field trips because if I don't plan them, they don't happen. And that's basically what happened last year. We did some family trips, but we didn't do nearly as many field trips slash traveling as a homeschooling family as I wanted to. So I want to be very intentional about that this year and make sure that I have some of those things planned and in place so that when the end of the year comes, I would have accomplished at least the majority of what I set out to accomplish. So anyway, those are the changes and the goals that we have for 2017. And yeah, so what did you guys set out to accomplish for this year, if anything? Did you guys make any changes? I really didn't have to make too many changes. If I didn't make changes for this homeschool year, I would have been okay. Um, everything that we were doing was working. It's just things that I want us to get better and better at so that we can get closer to what our vision is for homeschool and for our family. Oh, I feel like I rambled. I need more practice doing these videos so I can kind of relax. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I am really, really excited about this year in homeschool and in life in general. I'm excited to be doing this. Um, this YouTube thing with you guys. Oh, and also, I probably should mention that we basically have like 530 subscribers. And I'm excited about it. <laughs> I'm excited, but I'm kind of nervous about it. Um, and Brian had to talk to me about it because I'm not very good at celebrating victories like that. And this one in particular was slightly difficult for me because I have been training myself since the start of you know my family and since the start of homeschool for sure um, I have been training myself not to be to find value in the numbers and what I mean by that is that when you're a homeschool mom you don't make an income you know <laughs> um, unless you work at home as well but you don't have that consistent income that tells you you're doing a great job or a bonus that tells you that you're doing an exceptional job you don't have that number you know and that that paycheck is your money number but as far as YouTube or Instagram or whatever else those numbers can come in likes and those numbers can come in subscribers and when I set out to do this I really 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 wanted to be able to do it without paying attention to the numbers and it's been a challenge because numbers is really how you gauge if you're doing well or not and um, 
I just wanted to be able to say if there was only one of you guys watching that I would continue to do it because I love it and I want to do it and I want to share and I want that to always remain true so with that being said it's really difficult for me to say hey we have 530 subscribers yay you know so I'm working on that though because I do still want to celebrate victories and I think it's really awesome that so many of you are on the opposite side of this camera and listening to me chat and talk and so many of you are reaching out and commenting and emailing and asking um, and requesting videos and wanting to know how we're doing things in our home and I'm really grateful for that. This has really brought me so much joy. Um, I get really frustrated sometimes because it's difficult to make these videos happen along with life, but it's worth it. And I am really excited to see our community grow, this community of faith and love and, <laughs> and just growing our families together. I say it all the time. I'm excited about it. So thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for spending time with me, listening to me talk watching these videos, sharing with me. Thank you so much. Thank you for 530 subscribers, number or not. Thank you for being you, and I'm excited about the new year. So anyway, make sure you're subscribed if you want to continue to watch these videos. And I think another thing is that there's been issues around YouTube as far as getting notifications that we've posted. And I know that you can make sure that you're getting those notifications by checking, um, selecting that little bell that's next to the subscribe button. So if you're not receiving the, um, notifications that I've posted, you might want to make sure you, um, check that little bell. I've had to do that for channels that I watch. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you like, check the bell if you'd like, and I will see you in the next video. This was a really chatty video, but you guys said you like chatty videos. So there's that. Happy New Year! No, that was too squealy. Wait a minute. <laughs> Happy New Year, you guys. Bye.